Ooh. Fall is here and we gotta smell it. Oh, welcome back to watching Nelly doing things. I am back to talk about some new perfume. You guys already know it is Dossier. And the fragrance we're gonna be talking about today is the Musky Musk Perfume with Dossier. So you guys already know, before I jump all the way into this, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly doing things. And as well, don't forget to leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit that notification button while you're down there as well. So guys, let's jump right on into her. All right, y'all. So with the Musky Musk scent, you guys already know all about the packaging. We break it down all the time on this channel. And you guys already know that I forgot, I did not. I have a discount code with Dossier. It is 10% off and it is Nelly 10. You guys have it again for one more month through October, guys, to get your 10% off all of your goodies from Dossier. Also, guys, Dossier does have new candles they launched recently and use my discount code to get some off those candles as well, guys. And I believe a lot of the candles come in the same scents as the perfumes, especially some fall candles, y'all. Snag up a few because I know I will be. So this scent is inspired by the Juliet Has a Gun, the Not a Perfume, Out of Perfume. That perfume is more of a skin scent. So let's dig right on into this. You guys already know they give you a free little card and they do give you a sample spray, guys. Like I said before in my previous video, they do give you a sample spray to spray it. See if you like and if you don't, keep the little sample, but return the big one. These type of skin scents are very, very interesting to me. I think they're really good mixers, toppers, and also some things that are literally just, it's kind of its own rim. They're not anything that you probably have ever tried before. These are really great though, because I feel like people that are maybe more sensitive to scents, you would probably like more on this kind of like a scent, skin scent. So in the Musky Musk fragrance, the top note is none. There's no top note. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> and then the middle note is Cetalox Ezo, Ezo E Super. And then the base note is Cabanolide and then Musk. So I did pull up my friend Grantica up here about the Julia that has a gun. So the note in this scent is Amberoxin and Cetalox, Cetalox, that one that was in this one as well. So this one has literally only two notes, which this one actually has one, two, three, four, four notes in this one. So they give you two extra little notes. So you guys already know, we're gonna try her out. Ooh, other wrist, over the head, front, and walk through. Oh, I, whoo, I am obsessed with this scent, y'all. Off the bat, all you get is musk. Just very, very light. It's like a, it's an airy musk. It's a skin scent of musk. It's really, really good. This is one of those layering toppers, mixers. You can get the musk factor in any scent. If you get a floral fragrance like I do at times, and then maybe a little strong on different seasons, this is good to put it on top or put it underneath, definitely. This musk one, I always spray this one first and then I put whatever scent, maybe a little more too floral for me, especially when it gets cold. I put this underneath to make it nice and deeper. I know Julieta has a gun. I have smelled it when it first came out and I was like in Sephora and whatnot. And that fragrance, it was weird because I said, I can't smell anything because this is not a perfume. That's thick. It's like more of a skin scent. And I was like, Okay, well, there's a lot of different skin in Sephora. I can't smell around all these people spraying stuff and smell them, you know, because people, you know, some people, unfortunately. So it's more like an essence and a skin scent. So when I walked out of Sephora and I was like in my car driving my home, right? I smelled it on me and it was just like a natural essence of a musk. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. That like, it threw me off the first time I ever smelled it years ago. I was like, this is cool. So when I seen they had this one, a version of it, because y'all in Sephora, that Julietta one, she, she was like, I think it was easily like 125. Like she's over hundred. I just, I remember that. And I was like, oh, mm, I don't want that from just an essence, you know? With this one, you guys already know this one is a way more affordable. Julietta one has a gun. It's very, uh, very, very soft, very, very faint. You have to be really close up to really catch it. And I don't feel like that one's really a mixer. I just feel like if people that are more sensitive to smells or a lot of different traditional scents that people put in, even in auto toilets, if it's too strong for you, I feel like the Julieta has a gun and the Musky Musk is really for you. But with this scent, I feel like this one has a little more punch to it. So the Musk in it, of course, we're smelling off the bat. The set of locks, I feel like, I feel like both of them, I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to smell like, 
but I, they're both in that scent and this does smell in the same factor of it. So yeah, it's like very just skin. The Iso E Super, again, I don't know what that's supposed to smell like. So I'm not really getting that. The Habanolide, that one is, yeah, I'm getting that one as well. But the musk is just the name, musky musk. I don't know. I feel like anyone can wear this. Doesn't matter what gender or anything. You you can you can wear this. I think even I think even age wise too, you can have fun with this scent. It's just it's nice, especially you know mid age to middle age to older. This is be very very nice on men and women, anybody. You know, like I do like this one. I feel like this one is something that you can just pop on, especially if you're like a musk fan like myself. The skin scents and essence or skin essence of scents are very interesting. They're they're intriguing. I kind of want people to go off of that aspect, especially more in the future, to start making a, a essence or a skin scent on people, especially less irritation, less chemicals. I think it's a lot better. I feel like this one, of course, it does have more notes, so you do actually get more of actual a scent. This does actually come up more like out of perfume on the skin versus the Julieta one does. I run around the Target, you know, different stores and whatnot today. And I still smelt it on me. And even in my car, it smelled like, against my seatbelt, kind of smelled like the musky musk a little bit. And I said, oh, okay. So this one does stay. I feel like compared to the Julieta one, that one sneaks up on you. This one is like right thin in there. So this one doesn't fade away or kind of subtly pop up. Something deep and rich and chocolatey. So I was like, musky musk it is, you know? This longevity of this fragrance is, I want to say a good off the bat six to eight hours. Because when I did leave around six, I was like, yeah, sprayed on myself. Actually, I sprayed on myself around four something, actually. So I would say an easy six to eight hours this last just on its own. Now, mixing, I tried this a few days ago. I sprayed it on myself and I mixed it actually with, I'm trying to remember, uh, Marc Jacobs' Daisy Dream. I believe the white one. Yep, Daisy Dream. And it was so good because it's like that floral kind of fruity fresh and then that musk at the end this state with it it was really really nice so i used this first and then the daisy dream one on top it was really really good so again this one is a very intriguing one if you like any sense that you're like i like the thought of that or i'm kind of into that scent but further away i don't want it straight on my skin or it may irritate you you want something that's like skin like musky musk is your friend like this is for you. This is made for you. So is this one really, really comparable to the Julieta one? Yes. I feel like that other one sneaks up on you, but she's so, so subtle. And I don't remember the longevity of that one per se. So since I do have it with me, this one is really good. It's that musk that I always love from any fragrance. It's just that traditional musk. And I like that this does linger for a while. So, and then also I'm glad I can mix this one compared to the Julieta one. I don't feel like I can really mix it too much because it's so faint on its own. But this one is like, oh, it's musk, but it's still a skin scent. This is a really cool one. I like these type of scents. I wish more and more people would make different type of scents like this in all the different fields of so-called fragrances. This one is a great, great fall scent for right now, especially you're like, I want to clear my palette of all the springy, summery, very bright citrus floral scents. So this clears your fragrance palette and gets you ready for fall. So if you want something that's a traditional scent, guys, but it's something that you never would see by itself like this, I would get her. So guys, thank you for watching me, which is Nelly Doing Things. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And as well, don't forget to leave a comment below. Are you guys a musky fragrance fan? Let me know in the comments below. And also don't forget to hit that notification button before you go. You guys already know what I'm about to say. I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye y'all.